8.50, the time now. So, since forming 10 years ago, the indie rock band Blossoms has gone from strength to strength with the release of three number one albums, numerous tours, collaborations with the likes of 80s pop star Rick Astley. That happened at Glastonbury. Yeah, arguably he's really popular, m more popular now than he was in the 80s. But Blossoms, preparing to headline, in their words, their biggest show yet. The Stockport-based group also has a new single out at this moment. Listen to it. First things first, self-preservation. Remember whatever you do, do not call. I've been wondering why heartbreak's not taught. In school to one is what we're in for. I'd have got myself a degree to be so, but I was foolish. We're joined now by Blossom's lead singer Tom Ogden and drummer Joe Donovan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You all right? Very well. How are you? Very well as well. Yeah, good. <laughs> are you good in the early mornings? Yeah. All right. I like to start morning with a walk. Oh, nice. Do you know I mean? Not yeah. with the weather at the moment. Do you know what? Go on. It's a bit more quiet. He's a rambler, Joe. He likes the whole Yeah, life. you know, when, it's, when there's not as many people there, sort of. I like it. Your hood up. And you Vortex find... is made for a reason, isn't it? Well, it's, fine. it's a good point. I like doing that too. Is it inspiring? Do you find creative? Is that what oh, you Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think just getting out there, I don't, I don't really listen to any music. I don't really take my headphones with me or anything and just sort of go and just... It's like meditation or something. Oh, it's your head, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. I have to do it every morning, though. It's, yeah, it's funny. Nice. It's good to have yeah, a routine. This um, latest single, yeah. um, tell me about the history of it, because it comes from a poem, quite a kind of raw poem full of hurt after a breakup, which one of you... Who re who I read it, yeah. OK, and had you read a bit of this poet's work before? Not before that, because basically I'm always looking, as a songwriter, I'm always looking for like inspiration from elsewhere, and I've done it since I was, like, 18, writing songs. I've took little bits and bobs from, you know, song titles from things I've been reading. So I'm always on the hunt for things. So I was just in a bookshop in London and I bought maybe, like, four books, and I was just, like, literally just flicking through, like, that one looks good, and then that was one of them. So then I was writing this song and then turned to... I was like, oh, I'm sure there was some bits in that poem which was kind of... I thought, oh, I need to go back to that. Because it's post-breakup, isn't it? It's all the things you have to avoid doing Yeah, it's a to-do list a after the break. It's literally what it says on the tune. Yeah. And I just thought it was a great concept for a song and, and they start listing, you know, take refuge in your bed before... so the tears dry and all that kind of thing. I was like, oh, it's like a jumping point, isn't it? And often, sometimes, you might put something like that in and then replace it, but whereas it just fits so well, it was kind of... We reached out to the poet and said, can we use it? And she said, yeah. So. I suspect a lot of people who may not have heard the poem will hear the song and go, yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, those, yeah. Because yeah. each one, they go, oh, yeah. Everyone's been there, that. haven't they? You've been there? I don't oh, know. Well, you can tell me what you wish. <laughs> yeah, no, we've, I think everyone's been there. We've, yeah. we've both been there. I think that's why it's quite evocative, isn't it? And you're reading it and you're like, oh, I relate to that, like, yeah. back in the day. Not anymore. This poem is... now. <laughs> <laughs> the poem was written by Rupi Kaur, um, and it feels like that collection of poems was... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Kind of aimed at women. Yeah. And and it's, I just find it really interesting that guys have read it and thought, yeah, actually, which a lot of women will find or you know people will yeah. find quite refreshing. But then you've decided to have this as a duet, as well. Yeah. Well, at first, I think she, she probably wrote it just from her perspective. Of course. Do you know what I mean, which is probably more aimed at people who she be from her sort of lived experience. Yeah, lived experience and stuff. But then obviously. Anyone can sort of relate to that. Of course. Love's a universal movie. language, isn't it? So when you go <laughs> yeah, through exactly, yeah. a breakup, it's everyone relates to it, don't they? So yeah. and I, but I think, yeah, going back to what you said about it's written from her her point of view, I think to me it felt it felt right to to make it a duet. And it, the, the 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 lyrics kind of screamed from both sides a little bit to me. And I thought it would it would make sense. And we're fans of duets throughout the years, yeah. you know. We, wow. we, we've kind of wanted one for a while. And Finley um, was an obvious choice. We're massive fans of her. 
Me and Tom went to watch it before we, even, we were even in this band together. Do you know what I mean? We just went as fans. So when it came about, we were like... Yeah, she's from Stockport as well, so yeah. there's like a connection there. And Yeah, it, was, it worked out well. Yeah. Can, can I ask you about tags? Because on, on our leading, we called you an indie band. Do you get bored with tags? I mean, like being <sighs> like you're, you're one thing or another? Yeah, I mean, there's always, you're going to have to say something. Do you know what I mean? It's like... We well, could just be Blossoms. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rather than having a kind of a... Yeah. I, I think in certain... I think you need a, a reference point. I think people yeah. who are... Maybe in our sphere would say, "Oh, you sound like Blossoms." At least you'd hope so now, wouldn't you? Like after <laughs> being, yeah. a, being around for a little bit. You've been but, doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't particularly mind if someone says they want it. They sound a bit indie. They Do sound you... a bit pop, synthy, or whatever. It's I cool, suppose right? the other thing is, there's not as many indie bands as there once was, so it's quite nice having. Oh, so it has you like yeah, it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? I do sort of like it, yeah. Uh, and then, because uh, labels aside, you get to perform with all sorts of people. You're doing a duet now, but you're at Glastonbury with Rick Astley. Yeah. How about that? I know. Yeah, it was great, yeah. Rick's a, a very good friend. We're actually, we're in London tonight and he's playing, so we might he slept down. over at my house. <laughs> we, 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 call, we call it the Rick Astley suite. Was he a good house guest? <laughs> he was great. Tidy? Yeah. Did Tidy. he strip the bed after? Um, I can't remember if he stripped it, but he was very well made. <laughs> was he? Was he expected? It was a surprise. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Appearance. He was. He was down in Stockport hanging out with with us, and he was like, "Where should we stay in Stockport?" And we were like, "I'm not sure there's going to be like, you know, it's Rick Astley, isn't it? You, you're thinking, I don't know where you want to stay. There's like, no, there's no Ritz in not, the, no in dish Stockport. to like the hotels in Stockport. <laughs> like, but I was like, "Why are you staying in my house? Like, I've got a spare room." And he was, he was up for it. We made. We, we made dinner and we had, like, had a few drinks and everyone came around. It was lovely. Oh, that's nice. That's what really lovely. We went to the Blossoms pub, actually. <laughs> and then all the other pubs started coming around, like, why don't you come to our pub for a drink? We were like, word was getting around that... Well, Ashley's into town. Yeah, Ashley's into town. Cheapest yeah. drinks out for Even, like, yeah. I remember when we went for some dinner and went shopping and some lady turned around and she's like, are you Rick Astley? And he's like, yeah, and she's like, why are you here? <laughs> yeah. She couldn't fathom him. Like, she was just like, what, why are you in Stockport? Do you know, um, you played at Glastonbury yeah. with him, didn't you? But in our briefing notes, it says, in your words, the biggest ever, your biggest show yet at Withenshaw Park is going yeah. to be the moment of your career so far. Explain that, because most people would think, if I'm in a band and I get to play at Glastonbury, and nothing will top it. Well, I suppose, like, Glastonbury's a festival, isn't it? And it is the... It's the Eve. festival of festivals, isn't it? And we've done it a couple of times. And even if we're not playing, we go and just do the week with all our families. We go in motorhomes. We do the full, full lot. So we've like we've got the bug, and we absolutely love it. But this Withenshaw gig that's just gone on, on been announced to this morning is like our gig, and it's the biggest show we've ever done. So it's it's kind of more personal to us, and it's in Manchester. So obviously yeah. important to you, wasn't it? Your birthday yesterday. It was my birthday. And yesterday. so you've come onto the breakfast sofa the day after your birthday. I have. That's that commitment, that, isn't, isn't it? it? No. How's the head, all right? Absolutely fine, you know. Went, went, for, a nice, went for a nice meal last night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. I'm Are just buzzing about this gig, that's the one. Do you know it's going to be great. It it's going to be yeah. great. Are you wearing matching keys? You know I was looking at you. I, uh, I thought you were like... I, no, I didn't I know what you were looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you and I didn't... Yeah, what are the keys? The matching oh, keys? Yeah, yeah. We've what had these the... for a while. We've, so we've been friends for a long time <laughs> now, have, yeah. So when we used to go, like, out into Manchester, you start, like, dressing and kind of... I don't know, accessorising, don't you? And they, they were hung up in my mum in my mum's house, and I was like, oh, "It's going to be if I put that on a chain and wear it, that'll be quite cool." Thinking nice. I was like, and then I did it, and then you stuck with it. We started the band at the same time. She got them from like an old family relative called Mr. B, and then we obviously started Blossoms, which began with B. So Joe's mum was very like, "We've got some in these keys." Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you know when we start we started wearing them and and good things started happening, so we just kept them on. Stick at it, uh, stick at it. A lot of Lovely people are very it. excited about the gig, so yeah. nice to see you this morning. Go and have your walk, if you haven't good done it already. I'm going to. Mm. Are you going to come down to the gig? You both invited, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Blossoms' new single to-do list um, after the breakup is out now.